with this awesome little AMT Auto Mag 2 22 Mag Compact. I don't think I've ever even seen one of these before. And uh, the owners wanted us to uh, take it out and shoot it. It's a lot of it's a lot to ask, but we're willing to do it. So we've got some uh, different types of 22 mag ammo here. I don't want to waste a bunch of ammo, so I'll just put a couple of three rounds of each kind here. Mag seems super solid. Stainless, of course, super strong. I think this has been fired before, but it's in great shape. European style mag release, like it's Big Brother. Pretty easy to deal with slide release, slide lock. Safety's up here on the slide. So it's pulled down for safe, push up to fire. Um, I can get two good figures on it easily. And uh, let's see how it operates first. Huh, that sounded kind of weird. And he had a bit of a weird malfunction. So we'll pull the mag. We see that we only loaded three. There's two of them. So that's that same one didn't eject. And it looks like it flipped past the extractor. Now that extractor's not catching on it. So we'll lock it back. And we'll grab a knife. And it looks like we have to kind of hold it about halfway open so we can get to that rim. Pick it out of there. Kind of blew the case out weird. You see the little gas holes or something all around it. And we broke the rim. I don't think I did that with the knife. So we'll uh, shoot it again. I pulled the slide back and tried to write another round in there, but again, it didn't extract. Put that third one in. Huh, didn't even take it. Let's put that mag in all the way this time. Pull on it a little bit. And I'll try that last round. And once again, it did not extract, so we might have trouble with this one. At least there's a nice big front sight, so it's easy to hold open here when you have to pick the rounds out with a knife. Big problem with uh, 22 Magnum, and that's one of the reasons you don't see a lot of 22 Magnum pistols. There's so much brass here. You know, we have a bullet up front here. That's taking off some amount of room. And then we've got some powder in there. But then we got a lot of case, just doing nothing. So when that primer goes off, it starts to burn the powder, everything expands. It's going to push that brass against the chamber. So, you know, this component is not really small, there's like this little short. There's only that little bit of brass pushing against the chamber, where this one has all that brass pushing against the chamber. So, you know, that round goes down, bullet goes down, it's got all this pressure or friction because it's expanded inside that chamber and now that e extractor the little claw that catches on there has to pull that long case out of the chamber and it's just a lot of effort it's a lot of work for a little thing to do so I'm going to take a close look at this extractor now this time we're going to use um, just WMR HP which is, I'm not liking this ammo too much. So far, none of my magnums really like it. Now let's check this out for operation. Yeah. 
And same thing. Good next track. Uh, What's it doing? It's not extracting it? Well, this time it was way different. So it's, it hasn't extracted yet. This one it attempted to extract, and it came about out of the chamber. Of course, when I pulled the mag, it just fell in a little bit. So this is as far as it's gotten so far to extracting. Why don't you close the slide and see if it grabs it? Does it grab it? No. So it's the extractor just fucked up? Well, it's open. It just doesn't, it can't get around. It doesn't look broken or anything, though. Oh, and the spring, maybe the spring that pushes it isn't hard enough. But then I should be able to, oh, look at that. So I just pushed it with my thumb, and it, it did extract. So this extractor spring might be very weak. That was the last round. But it still didn't extract. But look, I pushed it with my thumb, and it extracts fine. So it's just the uh, shot. Maybe we could take it apart before No, that's probably impossible. You should sell this at a great loss. <laughs> Found a couple of things going on, but let's try another type of ammo just to try it out since we've got it here. So this time, WMR, non hollow. Three of them in there. Mag all the way in. Uh, mag is all the way in. Now it won't even close. It doesn't want to feed this type of ammo. Kind of finicky. I just crammed my bullet way down in there. You want to watch when something like that happens. You've created more, less space inside, more uh, compression, uh, overpressure issues. So you don't want to shoot a bullet like this. That was a little better. Let's see if we can get a couple rounds out. Even single handed. It tried to extract it this time. A lot of uh, muzzle blast, a lot of fun to shoot, but it's not working very reliably at all. So, we'll have to keep working on this one. Cease fire, cease fire. Open and empty all firearms. Remove all magazines, remove all ammunition. When your firearms are completely unloaded and actions open, collect any targets or tape from your shooting area and step behind the yellow safety line. Remember, you may only case the uncased firearms at the shooting tables with muzzles pointed downrange. Line is ready. Shooters, you are now alone. Commence firing. Next break in 15 minutes. All right, so the next step is we're going to oil this thing up a little bit. Came apart pretty easy, very much like a 1911. Spring is weird. There's this little barrel. Can't figure out how to get out the barrel. It's weird. So I guess there's a little thing up here, like a 1911. That's neat. Huh, that's pretty cool. Has a little barrel nut. Still have no idea how this barrel comes out. Just like that. But I don't know what's holding this down. Oh, I guess the spring will just come push that out again. There you go. So the spring just comes and pushes that rod through. Pretty neat. You can see how weak this little spring is. 
you know, you'd think that it would kind of hold it in, but it's not. So that's definitely an issue, but that's a repairable type of thing. I will just put some lube on here. The guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.